Hey guys, welcome back to my channel in my tutorials. In this particular tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to get live stock prices into your Excel sheet and create a little dashboard which will give you information of how much amount you have invested and what is the current value if you're booking your profit or your loss and what is the percentage, right? So let's get started. Let me explain what I have here in this particular Excel sheet. To begin with, I have my stock names and then uh, I have classified uh, a few columns into different uh, categories. The first is input, second is information, third is the life price update and the investment update. So let's begin with the input. So basically here what happens is you key in what stocks you have purchased, right? For example, the first stock over here, Tata Steel, you have 10 stocks in your portfolio and the stock price that you have purchased or the average price of stock that you have purchased for example here i have keyed in 1408 okay this is what you have purchased now on the next information section uh, i have what is the 52 week high of tata steel which is 1535 what is the 52 week low of tata steel and what is today's high and uh, what is today's high right and on the next section, I have uh, live price update. This is basically the live trading price as of now. Okay. As of now, it is 1306.45 and today's change percent is 1.34 positive. Okay. And this is the total amount that I have uh, invested, which is nothing but basically your stocks in the portfolio uh, multiplied by the number of uh, the amount that you have purchase the stock for okay that is your total amount invested and your current value total which is basically the number of stocks multiplied by the trading price current trading price okay and then your uh, pnl what is the uh, uh, profit or the loss that you are making on this particular stock so as you can see here we are making negative thousand and negative 7.21 is the uh, pnl percentage right and here we have the total amount invested to current value and the total pnl and the uh, percentage right so i'm going to teach you uh, 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 you know how to add a new stock uh, what i will do is i will share this particular file in the description of this video where you can download and you can key in uh, the values that or the stock that you have in your portfolio so that you can uh, sort of uh, uh, manage your portfolio via excel and see what is happening right now let's say for example you want to add you've bought a new share let's say mine tree you have bought right so i just type in mine tree over here uh, it will take some time and will automatically populate so once you have this populated now uh, what you need to do is you need to enter the stocks that you have purchased. Let's say you have purchased 20 stocks uh, at uh, maybe 3,899. Okay. And then uh, what you need to do is just copy the entire thing and paste it over here. So basically it will run and uh, give us the 52 week high. I have the formula running over here, which will tell you. And then there is 52 week low and this is today's week high and current trading price and what is the uh, profit the amount that you have invested what is the current value and what is the profit that you are booking on this right and then you can simply uh, do format painter on this so that the uh, uh, so that the uh, borders and all uh, appear in the right fashion and then what you need to do here is basically it is only summing the range till eight so you will have to change this to uh, nine so that it sums the entire column uh, and then change this to nine and then change this also to k9 k9 i8 is i9 okay so this is the total profit that you are booking so this is the only change that you have to make uh, to this particular uh, dashboard and all, all you need to do is just copy paste now let's say if you want to add few more columns right let me just uh, pull in my tree again over here let, let's say if you want to add another uh, other columns you can click on this particular icon over here and see what are the fields that are available all right so you can see there's currency there's description the number of employees where's the headquarter 
what is the industry instrument type low trade time low market cap what is the name official name etc there are a lot of information that is available but i think for this particular dashboard what i felt right i have added that information over here the way the live trading price works is basically you either select a uh, right click on the stocks and then click on data type and then click on refresh so this will uh, run a refresh and get the live price or if you don't need that uh, there is a refresh setting that is available as well you can click on refresh setting there are multiple options that are available for you to choose from one is it says automatically update every five minutes so if you leave the file open the uh, trading price will update every five minutes right and then there is another option when you open the file let's say you've closed the file and you want to do and whenever you open the file you want the uh, stock price to get updated right you can select that as well and then there is a uh, manually or uh, manual option as well which you can simply right click go to data type and then click on refresh these are the different ways how you can refresh the live stock prices and let's say if you add a, a stock let's say for example uh, um, infosys okay and then you type in infosys uh, but you get a question mark you don't know where to select from right so excel gives you an option whether it is infosys limited or that is this is new york stock exchange this is bombay stock exchange and this is national stock exchange so you can select whichever stock exchange that you want and then uh, it will or it will automatically populate now let's say even if that does not work let's say you just type in infosys over here forget this uh, let's start let's type in a different uh, name maybe uh, TCS right so you just type in TCS and nothing really happens so what you need to do is you need to go to the data here and then uh, mark that as stock so basically we're trying to get the stock price of TCS and then you get options here for TCS you can select this and you will start getting the uh, you'll, this will get converted into a stock so that Excel knows that you have entered a stock name and it should, you know, populate the uh, columns that are available here. For example, if I just click on uh, change, right? So this is the change value uh, which has changed today, right? So it's positive 40. So this is how you bring in the stock into the uh, Excel and uh, uh, connect it to the live uh, uh, database. So that's about it. Uh, I hope this uh, you will find this particular dashboard useful and you will start using this uh, in your day-to-day -day life and uh, I hope this uh, dashboard helps you. Uh, I make a lot of tutorials on my channel which I post daily so please subscribe to my channel and if you have liked this video please drop a thumbs up and also a comment just to let me know how you like this video and if you need anything else if you're looking for any other tutorials in excel or power bi please do let me know in the comment section and i'll be happy to make that thank you so much for watching